What's going on, NFL fans? Welcome back to another season here at Touchdown Kingdom. We're super excited to be bringing back our weekly predictions videos, starting with week one of the 2024-2025 NFL season. As always, today's video is powered by BetUS, and we'll be pulling all of our betting odds from BetUS as well. Let's get right into it. Up first, we have the Ravens at the Chiefs. 2024 is starting off with a banger. Pat Mahomes and the defending Super Bowl champs are set to take on Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. The Chiefs are tough to beat at home, but I do like the Ravens in this game. The new addition of Derrick Henry makes Baltimore's offense more of a threat on the ground, and I think the combination of Henry and Lamar will be too much for the Chiefs defense to handle on the first game of the year. Give me a Ravens win 24 to 20. Next, we have the Packers at the Eagles. A Friday night game in Brazil? The NFL is certainly changing every year, but we're here for it. Jordan Love is coming off of an impressive rookie campaign, and he should have plenty of confidence heading into year two. Unfortunately, playing in a different country against one of the toughest teams in the league isn't a very welcoming start to the season. Plus, with the addition of Saquon Barkley, the Eagles offense is even more dangerous than they were last year. I like them to get the W. Eagles win 27 to 21. Moving on to the Jaguars at the Dolphins. Trevor Lawrence had a hot finish to last season, but the Jags definitely want more out of their offense. They lost wide receiver Calvin Ridley this offseason, but added Gabe Davis, who's proved he can be a competent wide receiver too in the NFL. Both teams have also added plenty of exciting pieces on the defensive side of the ball, but I still don't think the Jags have what it takes to stop a fresh Tyreek Hill. The Jags will cover the spread, but the Dolphins win 23-20. Up next, we have the Steelers at the Falcons. The Russell Wilson era is about to begin in Pittsburgh. Can he revive his career now with his third NFL team? We shall see. The Steelers' defense is always consistent, and I expect them to have another good year. However, this Atlanta Falcon offense could be better than it's been in a long time. Running back B. John Robinson is set to have a monster second season, and new quarterback Kirk Cousins can find ways to get the ball to players like Kyle Pitts and Drake London unlike previous Falcons quarterbacks. I like the Falcons at home to start the year. Atlanta wins 21 to 16. Are you looking for a new book this football season? BetUS is the answer. BetUS is the number one online sports book in the world with the fastest payouts in the industry. BetUS has a 24 seven personalized service all year long, live wagering options for all games, and simply the best betting variety in the business. All of the odds we break down in this video will be directly from BetUS Sportsbook website. Receive a 125% sign-up bonus up to $2,000 on your first three deposits when you click the link in the description of this video. Next, we have the Vikings at the Giants. The Giants lost star running back Saquon Barkley and will be looking for a spark on offense from just about anyone who can give it. Rookie wide receiver Malik Neighbors has the potential to be a star but there are really no other skilled players on the Giants to be worried about. The Vikings lost rookie quarterback J.J. McCarthy to an injury before the season even began, so it will be Sam Darnold at quarterback for Minnesota. Their offense does have weapons in Justin Jefferson and T.J. Hawkinson, but will Darnold be able to get them the ball? We'll see. I like the Giants to score on defense and come out with a sneaky win at home, 20-17. Moving on to the Panthers at the Saints. The Carolina Panthers have yet another head coach, this time in proven quarterback developer Dave Canales. After a disappointing rookie campaign, maybe this is the change that second-year quarterback Bryce Young needed. Canales claims his team will be ready to hit the ground running in 2024, but after many disappointing seasons in a row, Panthers fans are more cautiously optimistic going into this year. The Saints are no powerhouse, but certainly a better overall team than the Panthers, and I expect them to get the win at home. Saints win 24 to 18. Up next, we have the Patriots at the Bengals. The Patriots are not expecting to do much of anything this year. The Belichick era is officially a thing of the past, and this will be a new look Pats team that NFL fans just are not used to seeing. Meanwhile, the Bengals are expecting great things this year with a healthy Joe Burrow under center and plenty of weapons around him. I understand this is week one and teams are still figuring things out, but this really shouldn't be a competitive football game. Bengals win 27 to 17. Up next, we have the Titans at the Bears. 
The new look Chicago Bears will be a fun team to keep an eye on this year. Rookie quarterback Caleb Williams seems ready to go, and they've added weapons around him like rookie wide receiver Roma Dunze, veteran wide receiver Keenan Allen, and star wideout DJ Moore. All of a sudden, the Bears have one of the most dangerous wide receiver rooms in the league. I like Chicago to start the season hot at home and get the W in Caleb Williams' NFL debut. Bears win 24-17. Moving on to the Cardinals at the Bills. The Buffalo Bills will remain a threat as long as Josh Allen is under center, but the pieces around him are nowhere near as exciting as they once were. Both Stefan Diggs and Gabe Davis went elsewhere this offseason, and there are not many pieces left for the Bills offense besides their tight ends and running back James Cook. I don't think they'll have the season that Bills fans have grown used to seeing in the Josh Allen era, but they certainly have what it takes to beat Arizona at home. Bills get the W, 24-17. Next we have the Texans at the Colts. The Houston Texans are coming off of a great year for their franchise, and quarterback C.J. Stroud is set to have a monster second year if he remains healthy. On the flip side, the Colts are excited about their season as well and getting quarterback Anthony Richardson back healthy after a promising start to his rookie season last year. These division rivals know each other well, and I feel as though this game could go either way. I think the X factor will be the run game. If running back Jonathan Taylor can get back to his form from two years ago, the Colts will be dangerous. Colts get the W at home, 23-21. Moving on to the Raiders at the Chargers. The Chargers will be an interesting team to watch this year under new head coach Jim Harbaugh, who's about to begin his second stint in the NFL. I expect the Chargers offense to be a lot more run-focused this year under Harbaugh, but also because they lost their two best receivers in Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, plus the departure of running back Austin Eckler, who is a vital part of their passing attack. The Raiders certainly aren't an offensive powerhouse, but I expect their defense to play great football at the beginning of the season and earn their team a week one win. Raiders get the W in a surprisingly low scoring battle, 20 to 17. Next, we have the Commanders at the Buccaneers. The Commanders have a new quarterback in rookie Jaden Daniels who can both throw and run the ball effectively. They should be fun to watch if Daniels played how he did in college. The Bucs have one of the most underrated players in football and wide receiver Mike Evans, and I have confidence that quarterback Baker Mayfield will get him the ball as often as he can. Mike Evans has yet to have a season with less than 1,000 receiving yards, and I expect him to start strong in 2024. Bucks win at home, 24-17. Moving on to the Broncos at the Seahawks. The Broncos are rolling with rookie quarterback Bo Nix to start off 2024, and rookie quarterbacks don't tend to do well in week one. Pair that with a solid Seahawks defense that are, quote, ready to bring the physicality back, and I don't think the Broncos fare too well here. Seahawks win at home, 23-14. Up next, we have the Cowboys at the Browns. The Cowboys are a perennial playoff team, but they haven't been able to truly take that next step and be a certified Super Bowl contender year in and year out. The Browns are loaded up on both sides of the ball, but there's still much to be desired from their quarterback Deshaun Watson, who has not been the same since leaving the Houston Texans a few years back and then serving his suspension. The Cowboys did re-sign their wide receiver C.D. Lamb, and he'll be ready to play. Either way, I like the Cowboys to get a nice road win to start the year on the back of their defense. Dallas wins 24-21. Moving on to the Rams at the Lions. The Lions are coming off of their best year in most of our living memories. They've officially turned the corner and left the Lions of the past behind and are a completely new team in the Dan Campbell, Jared Goff era. I expect wide receiver Amon Ross St. Brown to have another great year and with the loss of Aaron Donald for the Rams, I don't know if the Rams defense can keep up with the high-flying offense of Detroit. Lions win 26-21. And finally, we have the Jets at the 49ers. It's do or die for the New York Jets coaching staff and general manager, and everybody knows it. After an offseason last year that was filled with incredible hype, we all remember what happened four plays into the season. This year should be different. The Jets roster is the best it's been in decades, possibly ever. If Aaron Rodgers stays healthy, the sky is the limit for this team. 
They have a huge challenge heading to the opposite coast to play the 49ers, who are once again massive Super Bowl contenders. But Aaron Rodgers knows how to beat the 49ers and is 6-3 against them in his career. The 49ers are one of the best teams in the NFL, but I like the Jets to come out firing in 2024 and get the road upset. Jets win 24-20. All right, guys, that's going to do it for another video here on Touchdown Kingdom, our first weekly predictions video of 2024. As always, please make sure you like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates, and comment below so we know how you felt about today's video. As always, thanks to BetUS for sponsoring today's video. The link is in the description to sign up. Thank you guys so much, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Wanted to give another big shout out to BetUS for powering this video. The link is in the description to sign up.